Generally, it is recommended not to compare your child with other children, but today I will talk about my son when he is nine years old compared to when he was two and a half. I want to mention that it's not that we want to fix something with our son. He's a fantastic boy and we love him the way he is. Our intention was to help him develop and to become independent. Before my son was two years old, he started to have words but then after severe gut infection, he lost his speech and also he lost his eye contact. Then he started to have classical symptoms of autism. Hand flapping, head banging, walking on toes, putting things in a row. He was fascinated with wheels, walking in circles. He was quite hysterical, had tantrums, was very irritable, didn't follow group instructions was not interested in the outside world, didn't interact with others. He was spinning around, stimming and had vocal stimming. So now when my son is nine years old, I want to say that he's a much happier child. Now, speech and eye contact recovered. He doesn't have hand flapping, no head banging, doesn't walk on toes, doesn't put things in a row not fascinated with wheels, doesn't walk in circles, doesn't have tantrums, no serious hysterics, but he's quite emotional and uh, much less irritable. Uh, he does follow group instructions and is much more interested in the outside world, in animal life. He likes interacting with other people, interacting with children. He still, from time to time, is spinning around. I look at it now more like Sufi meditation practice. He doesn't have vocal stimming anymore, but the stimming connected with his fine motor skills is still there. In between, there were years of therapies, behavioral and nutritional interventions. Even though his social skills and social awareness is much better now, but there is still a lot to improve. Like, uh, the main thing is he doesn't see the boundaries, the borders of other people. He can easily ask you a question, why are you so fat? Oh God, you're so old, you're gonna die. So, it's not always funny. <laughs> and uh, regarding schools, we've been changing schools quite often and now we also moved to another country and I want to say that when there was a class with 10 children he was okay and he didn't need assistance. But now when he's in another country with 30 children in the class uh, there is a need for assistance because it's quite hard for him to concentrate. And I'm pleased with the progress my son made with academic subjects like reading, learning languages, writing, maths, some of which are better than his peers but I want to facilitate his social interactions with others more so that it is easier for my son to find friends and maintain relationships as sometimes he can seem to be too naive, unable to interpret social signals other times awkward or even rude, not respecting the boundaries of other people I do hope that this video will help people to be more tolerant to allow others to be different and to understand that sometimes what might seem to be abrupt or awkward behavior has an underlying cause.